Now here is how to turn off navigation on the Apple Watch. You probably noticed that whenever you start a navigation on your iPhone using the Apple's Maps app, the Apple Watch automatically starts giving you instructions and directions. So let's take a look how to remove it. Well, if the directions show up, you can simply click the digital crown and come back to the home screen. This will make the directions disappear, but only until you get to the next turn. So it's like a temporary solution, and after a while, it will show up on the screen again. And this may be annoying, so it's definitely not anything permanent. However, you can actually turn this off completely. So in the Apple Watch app on the iPhone, make sure to navigate to Maps, and there are Turn Alerts. And I'll say it simply, I'm going to explain it to you like it is. If you disable everything you can see here on the screen, then the directions on the Apple Watch won't show up. And that's the point, right? By the way, I tested all navigation apps that are dedicated for Apple Watch, so make sure to watch that video to know more about it. I paid a lot of attention to it, so definitely go ahead and check it out. Okay, so now let me show you how it actually works. So, as you can see, it is all disabled because I turned off every single thing, every single toggle. And I started driving navigation on my iPhone right now. So, you can see right here, I start whatever I want. And if you look at the watch, no directions are going to pop up. But if you actually manually open up the maps and go there on the watch, you'll see them there. Like the Apple Watch is, of course, an extension of your iPhone. So, it'll definitely be there. So it's not going to annoy you when you don't want it, but whenever you want to just take a look at it on the watch, you don't have to take out, take out the iPhone either, so that's definitely a good thing. But also on the home screen on the watch face, above the time there is a little indicator that you're using maps and it can also access it on the watch. It's in the same spot where you can see the red dot for notification, where the workouts icon and during active workout is. You may also see there the playing now icon as well if you're listening to music. Anyway, maps will also be shown there during the time you use navigation on iPhone. So you can see right there that you can always access it. It's like an, an ongoing process that you always have access to from your Apple Watch. But also if you come back to the maps section in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone in the settings, then there is also a transit option. And as you can see, this is kind of a similar thing. And the point is that whenever you're using the stepping directions, as they call it, it's pretty much when you walk and you also get the directions on the watch, you have to disable this as well. Even though you're only like using the navigation for driving, then probably not. But if you use it for walking and for pretty much anything, then it would definitely be a good idea to turn it off as well. So anything that you can see on the screen has to be disabled and no uh, annoying directions on the watch are going to pop up from now on. So that's something to keep in mind. And of course, you can choose, like I said, which one you keep enabled and which one you disable. But it's really up to you. I keep them disabled for all of them. So I believe that this is everything what you should know about it. I'm not going to drag out the video any longer than it really needs to be. I also need to say that if you hit the thumbs up and subscribe, it of course helps, but you know about that. So if it helped you, make sure to do those things. And yes, you'll definitely help out the channel as well. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later in the future.